you either need to do upgrades, get a new computer, and I say get it home and test drive it. Uh, you have 30 days to love it or return it. I'm uh, Debbie D, and let me see who's coming up. That is the wonderful Shannon Smith in the house. Oh, she just slid in. Don't you look lovely? Shanna Smith is looking so great, getting ready to do Coin Collector. Love your outfit, girl. You look so pretty. Because <laughs> you are the style maven. You look good. I mean, good. seriously. <laughs> you know what? A little leather, little coins, trying, trying some new bangs. <gasps> Thank you, doll. Thank you, Debbie. All right, so I've got libation. I've got coins. I've got the king of coins. In fact, is Mike Mizak there? Where is he at? Mike Mizak, giddy up, you and me in prime time. I mean, a decades old history together. I mean, viewers, if they're discovering Coin Collector for the very first time, they better look out because you've got a lot of great things planned for a Saturday night, don't you? Yeah, we got a lot of stuff, uh, a lot of things. We got some new things. We got some things that are final quantities. Uh, most importantly, we have uh, the things we have are in stock, which in the coin world right now is a big deal. So, yeah, it's going to be a great two hours. It is indeed. Okay, Mike, as always, I think these are the favorite shows for my crews to do with me because it's all about Mike. <laughs> but I have about to say, that. I listen and I learn with everyone else. And, of course, if you are new to HSN, you know, the world of coin collecting has never been hotter in America and really globally and whether... It's, I think, we intrinsically known the value of money is, if you're going to collect anything, it should be money. But what Mike Mizak does is really outside of the norm in terms of what you would typically find in coin collecting. First and foremost, you get an unconditional 30-day return policy. You get flex pay. Those are interest-free payments. And you get what you get, meaning it is exactly what we described. No bait and switch. Like I said, it's usually the Wild West out there. Mike, we are looking at, I would say, probably in a category of of um, national interest. Whenever we do a panda coin or something like this, I know people kind of go crazy because it has to be harder and harder for you to get something like this into inventory, I would imagine. Would that be the case? Well, it is May, <laughs> okay? This usually comes out in December. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, everything is hard right now. Silver particularly hard because it's in such short supply. The other thing is, is notice the limited edition. We normally do 300, 400, 500, something like that. We get 1,000, 1,500 coins and then certify them. We got a fraction of our, there's 72 in the limited edition. 72, and it's the 40th anniversary of the Chinese panda. So it predates, it predates the American silver eagle by several years in terms of a, of, of a silver coin. It's not generally available in the United States because it sells out in Asia almost immediately. It's very difficult to get here. The other interesting, the thing I like about the panda is they did this very early on and the obverse, in other words, the panda side of it changes every year. It changes every year. And so you have um, you know, mothers and pandas and, and fathers and pandas and little baby pandas and panda families and all that. This is just two baby pandas having a blast. Looks like they're sliding down, uh, sledding down a mountain. Notice the 40th anniversary logo that's there in the left side of the coin that is a 40 with a little panda in it. We have 72, 72 of our first release Pandas, brand new. I'm just releasing it right now in May for 72 coins and 72 coins only in absolutely positively perfect condition in stock, ready to go. <clears throat> we don't have to wait for, you know, 8 to 10 to 12 to 18 months to get a, to get a ship over here or, or fly them in or whatever the case is. This is something, like I said, about four months in the making for us. We end up with literally six dozen coins that are our first release, 100% exclusive to us here at HSN, six dozen, six dozen coins only. Like I said, with the 40th anniversary Panda, coin. Uh, the pandas, just like all American, uh, just like all the American silver eagles are bringing massive premiums to the market. Anything silver, anything silver is bringing huge, huge, huge premiums in the marketplace. If you have them is what the situation is. It, absolutely. And I, I know, so silver is not a description of silver or gold. That is silver, like Mike said. So there are a lot of intrinsic reasons to consider this, not the least of which this is the only airing, and a handful of these to go around, just a couple dozen at best. So your only opportunity, 809-104. And remember, 
that three pay flex pay. Those are interest free payments. That means we ship it out to you right away. So definitely take advantage of that. So we've got two great primetime hours with the king of coins. Not self-proclaimed, we have crowned him. We truly have, and in the industry, he is a force to be reckoned with for sure. I promise one thing, and I always say this, you're gonna learn something in addition to get some fabulous collectible opportunities during this next two hours of time together. So we're moving along, and Mike, as always, I love to defer to you, because when we said earlier, or when I said earlier, that there's never been a hotter time in history I would say in terms of coin collecting, um, I think for traditional numismatists out there, they're saying, well, yeah, I've always been a coin collector, but whether it's a lot of the groundbreaking or news-breaking opportunities in the category as a whole, or just the times that we lived in, or when I said earlier, the intrinsic value alone, or the difficulty with which even acquiring silver, if you follow the silver markets, or just what is happening financially around the globe, there are a lot of reasons for people to take a moment and sit back for the next two hours, for the very, at the very least for the education that you provide. So let's jump in with this one, because I think this is a good launching off point maybe to provide that education, which I always say is priceless, especially if someone is discovering coin collecting or you for the very first time, right? Yeah, this is, this is a really important coin on a lot of different levels, on, on a lot of different levels. It, it's, it's groundbreaking in a lot of ways, which, which I'll talk about here in just a minute, obviously. Um, one of the things I think that's really important and this year brings, brings it to the forefront, I really think, is that there are very few what I would consider to be watershed moments in the numismatic or coin world. The, the pace of change in numismatics from the United States men is is glacial at best. We we hope for a snail's pace is is ultimately what it comes down to. They change the design of the American Silver Eagle for the first remember the panda changes every year. The American Silver Eagle changed once in 35 years. By law, it's gonna take another 25 years where they can do a second change. So this is literally once in a lifetime opportunity. This is the first full year of issue of this new design change, where they change from the old heraldic eagle that you see right there, the heraldic eagle, and they changed it to the new eagle in flight. So that is historic. That's a watershed moment. The other thing that's happened from a, from a numismatic standpoint, and I allude to this and talk about it all the time, is the fact that physical silver is almost impossible to get, particularly in the form of the United States coinage. The United States Mint cannot get enough silver. They've released press release after press release. There's been multitudinous articles written about it. The fact that they cannot get silver blanks fa fast enough. And that has created the problem with this coin, the problem and the opportunity, if you will. Here's the problem. The United States Mint, this was supposed to be released January the 4th, the American Proof Silver Eagle. It was released in April, okay? It was released in April. And the reason for that is, is they couldn't get the blanks to make the coin. The blanks are, are how they strike the coin. And the United States Mint does not make those on their own. They, they outsource that. And of course, you know, supply chain issues, everybody knows that. They started a couple of years ago doing a thing called an enrollment program. Now, in the past, it was not that big of a deal. If you wanted to prove silver, you could order it any time you wanted from the United States Mint. There was never a supply issue on this coin, all right? Because they just made them all year long, and they were available throughout the year always. They didn't sell this coin out. Well, starting last year, they started selling out the Proof American Silver Eagle. It would take a day or two days or, or right around in there, but it was you know a week or two weeks, whatever it was. This year was historic in this respect. The United States Mint released a press release well, about a month or so ago that said because of the popularity of their enrollment program, the entire mintage of the 2022 West Point Mint Proof Silver Eagle that you see right there is sold out pre-release. So in other words, they did not release a single solitary coin to the public on, the, on release day. Uh, actually, that's not true. Uh, on release day, they released 77 coins. 77 coins, and of course it sold out in approximately a hundredth of a second. 
uh, uh, is is what happens. 77 coins. Normally, they have a couple hundred thousand coins to sell on release day and then continue to make them. The United States Mint announced everything was pre-sold. Everything is gone for the year on this. They will not be making any additional quantity. It was a sellout before release. That has never happened in the history of the United States Mint. And as a matter of fact, they're going to do an S-minted proof Silver Eagle a little later in the year. They announced that is already pre-sold out. They're going to do a West Point Minted Burnished Special Edition American Silver Eagle. That is pre-sold out. The fact of the matter is, is the United States Mint has completely and totally sold every single special issue Silver Eagle for the entire year as of today. As of today. That has never, ever happened in the history of the United States Mint. Well, what we have here is our first day of issue, because we're one of, the, one of the largest U.S. Mint accounts and because we bought some in the secondary market. We went out there and got enough Silver Eagles to do. Now, normally our addition on this is two, three, four thousand 4,000 coins. 1,161, I believe, is the lowest edition we've done in years, and because the, the coins aren't available because they're completely and totally sold out from the United States Mint. So we've got the coins. We've got them first day of issue, which is 100% exclusive to us here at HSN. Additionally to that, we have got these certified absolutely perfect. So you remember, the higher the grade, the more it's worth in coin collecting as in any collecting. That matters to value. It matters to collectability. Then we have the exclusivity of presentation with the, uh, uh, the flag core annex holder there in the first day of issue. First day of issue annex, you can only get on HSM. Additionally to this, uh, it, it's hard enough getting the coins. But try getting the packaging. If you have it right there, Shannon, can you show yep. us the uh, Red Oak presentation yeah. box that comes with this? And in fact, Michael was going to ask about that because normally, now we sell these for about what? Close to that $40 mark or? Uh, I think it's closer to 30, 30 actually. 30? Okay. When we have them. Okay. They've been back ordered like everything else on the planet for about a year and a half. Uh, uh, you know, we, we, we sell literally tens of, we use hundreds of thousands of these in the course of a year. We have been so behind, it's, it's insane how far we've been behind on these. Finally got some in, we are going to include it with this. So what this does is it basically puts it in the $250 range for a first day of issue, uh, a proof Silver Eagle that we actually have in stock. So please understand what this is from a, from a collecting standpoint. So let's kind of review. First full year of issue of the brand new design. So that is historic, that's incredible, that's collectible. First day of issue, so that's exclusivity of design, if you will, or, or, or release. In terms of release, we also have the first day of issue, always an additional designator of value that we don't actually charge extra for. And the annex first day of release is 100% exclusive to us here at HSN. You cannot get that anyplace else. Then we have the exclusivity of presentation, which is what you see with the uh, with the eagle uh, in the label and then the, uh, the flag core that you have there from annex, and you have that entire thing. So you have every single one of these levels of collective and then when we talk about this just as a coin, the fact that for the very first time in history, even in the huge transition year last year where they changed the design from the old design to the new design, they did not sell out pre-release. This is the time and the only time in the history of the United States government these sold out pre-release. They're gone for the year already. They were supposed to be released in January. They weren't released until April. That's because of the silver shortage. And that's created some very significant things and very significant problems in the industry. There's just not enough silver eagles. And I'm talking about regular mint state silver eagles. Traditionally, understand the mint state silver eagle, the United States uh, uh, mint does not sell to the general public. They only sell them through a system, what are called authorized purchasers. There's 12. The United States Mint charges what's called a premium, more than the silver melt. And then the, uh, uh, the APs charge a little premium on top of that. Well, that premium has tripled to quadrupled in value, has tripled to quadrupled uh, uh, over the course of this to levels that we have never seen because, and that is 100% driven by demand. There are far, there's far more demand than there is supply of American silver eagles. That's just the fact of the matter. There's just, just no getting around that. And that has trickled over into the production issues for proof silver eagles. They were supposed to do another Morgan and a Peace silver dollar this year, which of course they absolutely positively loved, right? They absolutely positive, everybody loved that. They're supposed to do another one this year. They had canceled the program because they can't get the silver.
So it does two things. It creates immediate sellout in this, and it creates the fact that without the silver, they can't make any additional quantity of the proof silver eagle. So the proof silver eagle, both West Point Mint and San Francisco Mint, is already sold out for the year. The S Mint hasn't even been released yet. The burnished silver eagle, which usually also is available throughout the year, is completely and totally sold out for the year. So understand what is happening. There are just not enough coins. And understand there's nothing that's going to be released between now and December that's going to fill that gap. It is what it is. Every single coin is now sold out in April. You see some uh, uh, some movement, significant movement in uh, in the price of gold and silver here that is starting to match the demand that is created by the premium movement, which is something I've never, ever seen. I mean, the premiums now for ungraded, uncertified American silver eagles are starting to run into 50 or 60 percent over bullion pricing. That's just to that's just the price from wholesalers. If you buy 50,000 eagles, you have to pay a 50 to 60 percent premium to melt. Then by the time it gets to that, American silver eagles, uncertified and ungraded, have really never sold for double melt value. That's common now. That's the price, double or even more of melt value. We've never seen that. Now add in mint state 70. Now add in proof 70. Now add in first day of issue. Now add in each coin individually numbered. Now in add Add in the exclusivity of presentation and provenance. Add all of those things together, and now you understand why numismatics, I mean, it is an absolutely spectacular year for numismatics. And then this coin, add in the red oak presentation box, and you can see. Now, I know this is the first time we've offered this in prime time. I think it's really important for us to understand we had 1,161 of these coins. Our quantities now, I believe, are significantly, significantly less than that. This might be our only primetime presentation. I don't know. Uh, I suspect, uh, you know, we started the uh, started the show with probably about 1,100 or so available coins. I suspect we're significantly under that now. A absolutely. In fact, Mike, I can actually elaborate a little further. We're in the hundreds remaining. And the one thing to be crystal clear about this and fully forthright, as we always are in our shows, but especially in the coin collector category, because it is unlike, I think, any other um, business that or product category that we have here at HSN, is when you hear those quantity stories, you have to understand, even though Mike is a force and an icon in the industry, he is subject to the law of supply and demand and the availability. When you think in terms of, um, say, even a movie release, like as an example, I bought my tickets for the new Jurassic Park movie that is released in June. I bought my tickets a month ago, <laughs> okay? The movie's not sold out. The movie's not sold out. The movie hasn't been released yet, but you know, the movie's not sold out. This is sold out. This is sold out from the United States Mint. So if that helps put it in the broader perspective, let alone categorically, it is everything that Mike describes. It is the genuine article. It comes with that red oak, uh, red oak presentation box. And you know what, and Chris, I'll put this back again, but um, let's see if I can do this with my dexterity issues. My arthritis has not been really cooperative the last couple of days. But when you're giving this as a gift, and certainly if you're thinking Father's Day, if you are thinking for grads or, and dads, I mean, this really does make a stunning presentation. But more importantly, it is something that you absolutely should consider, whether you're an avid numismatist and coin collector or whether you are putting your toe in the water for all of the things that Mike described, whether it's the limited availability, the sold out status, the fact that this will probably be the only primetime airing because we are already in the hundreds remaining on this. It is on that flex pay, which is also really, that, well, that's just, they just don't do that in the world of coin collecting in the real world. They just don't. So that means literally for less than $100, you can get this at a home on PayPal, any Apple Pay, any major credit card, and literally hold that, that weight, hold that sense of history in your hands, and then decide for yourself with a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. But as I often say with Mike, he cannot make more. Don't worry. We, we, he will not make more because he does, or he is not going to rock orange as the new black, as we often say. But I can tell you this, Mike. That's why I said this is a really good launching off point for people to listen and learn from you. I always say that the information that you provide is priceless. But the quantities that we have are the quantities that we have. It is not a back order or a reorder situation. And the other thing about this, and I'll just mention this real quickly, and I'll remind people throughout the show, when we talk about the fact there are just a few hundred remaining, 
more people shop with you after our shows than they even do during the shows. So whenever we give a quantity update of severely limited during a broadcast, you absolutely should act now. Because it's really kind of true, well, it's not kind of true, People watch your shows, they record them in many cases, they watch the playback, they go to hsn.com, and then they make that buying decision. And then sadly, in many cases, it could be too late. And here's a clear indication of that, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. And to go back to your movie analogy, which I like, the, the only difference in that is they'll run that movie until people stop showing up. Okay, now imagine that movie scenario where you know there's five shows. That's it. That's all there's ever going to be. You have five opportunities, five dates to see it in the theater, and you'll never see it again. Now what's that ticket situation uh, going to be? That's that, that's kind of the thing that we're in here. Like I said, we can't manufacture any more of these. The U.S. Mint frowns on that. <laughs> as, you, as you mentioned, I, I, I'm, I'm not making any coins on my own. We are, we are bound by the laws of supply and demand, as you said, and we're bound by exactly what the Mint does. What they make is what they make. There's no additional coins that are ever going to be made available. That's what the situation is. And all of the available coins were spoken for prior to release. That's never happened in the history of the United States Mint. Now, within that, we have got this tiny little addition of 1,161 coins that is now, like you said, into the hundreds. That is 100% exclusive to us and perfect. And I want to talk about that a minute. The single most important determining factor of, of value in numismatics and co coin collecting, as in any collecting, is condition. The higher the grade, the more it's worth. We grade on a 70-point scale, as this coin is right here. Uh, it's proof 70. There's no 71 or 70.1 or anything like that. That is absolute perfection. That makes a significant difference. So this is the first full year of issue of the new design. If we go back to the first full year of issue of the old design, 1986, in a proof 69, it's going to be about this price, 284.95. Proof 70, it's going to be closer to $1,000. That's the difference grade makes. That's the difference one point of grade makes. Now, we have been able to go back in 1986 and find a few what we call first day of issues. I think they're actually just even early releases. Those coins are like $2,000. OK, those coins are significantly more valuable. And so every single extra thing adds to the value because it adds to the collectability. It, it decreases the amount of, of quantity that's available. And this coin is an absolute perfect example of that. And the fact is, is since it's 100 percent exclusive to us here at HSN for this coin, Proof 70, first day of issue annex. This is the absolute positive guaranteed lowest price available any place on the planet because it's the only price until it sells out, in which case it will. And that is the and it will in which case. This is the wholesale price. This is the price everybody paid. And so then after that, of course, the secondary market then takes over. The secondary market then takes over, which I think is critically important for you to understand with that. So please understand what you're getting with this. You're getting a unique numismatic opportunity in absolutely perfect condition in an exclusive presentation of first day of issue with, of course, our flag core that you're going to have. The pre-sell out from the United States Mint makes this an absolute positive opportunity. Uh, a collectible for a generation. Once again, one of those watershed numismatic moments, one of those watershed numismatic moments uh, that is so rare in the United States mint history. It happens just every now and then, like this change of design. So we talk about like the Roosevelt dime. Uh, that hasn't, that design hasn't changed for 80 years, 75 years. They just don't change things. The mint is loath to change things. This is a huge chain. The most popular uh, uh, silver uh, silver coin, collectible silver coin in the world today. And this is the change in design. 35 years in the making. And by law, for another uh, 25 years, they can't change it again. That's a great camera angle. See how, how, how embossed, in essence, or not embossed, but see how raised the eagle looks on that. I mean, it actually shows just the relief that's on this coin. The United States Mint has really gone out of its way to do this incredible, incredible design. Uh, Emily Damstra, as a matter of fact, designed that uh, uh, coin. It's absolutely Michael Gaudioso is the uh, is the engraver on that. They have to do a designer and engraver. And of course, the front, their initials are on the back. And for the very first time on the front, 
we've got right under the God We Trust, it looks like a West Point mint mark, but it's not. It's an AW. That's the Adolf Wyman who designed that coin uh, at first appeared. That design first appeared in 1916 on the Walking Liberty half dollar. So incredibly beautiful, so incredibly collectible, so incredibly desirable uh, uh, that it, it was reprised uh, under uh, orders from President Ronald Reagan and the Liberty Coin Act when it was signed in 1985. They reprised that design because it was considered to be so beautiful. The obverse remains the same. I mean, you know, changes in numismatics comes very slowly. We'll change the back. We're not changing the front. We're going to leave that for at least 60 years, okay, is, is what that comes down to. So that's going to remain the same for over a half century. Uh, 25 years from now, somebody else hopefully will be on here uh, uh, selling coins. It certainly won't be me, and they'll be able to give you another design on the American silver. Eagle. You know, I was thinking about this, Mike, and, um, you know, I'd have to, to do, you know, a, a little reflection, but I think I have it at my age because I'm getting closer to 60 than not I've lived through more solar and lunar eclipses <laughs> celestial speaking than there have been epic watershed changes in imagery on this coin so I'm right on most U.S. coins right but I mean seriously so you think about it in terms of what's going on in the galaxy I've lived through more eclipses than we've seen in terms of epic and, and landmark design changes. And well, they, haven't, that, changed the, they but, haven't changed the Kennedy half dollar in our lifetime. Oh, yeah, the Roosevelt right. dime, either one of us, the Roosevelt dime has been exactly the same since, since we were born. And I'm well older than you are. <laughs> okay? Never. And so you understand, when I'm talking about glacial in change, when we're hoping for a snail's pace, I mean, I'm, I'm, that's not, that, you know, that is not, uh, I'm not hyping up anything right there. That is just 100% the facts. Well, and Mike, that's kind of why I make that analogy is, so if you are new to the world of coin collecting, if that helps this resonate with you, I mean, just so you have an understanding of, like Ron Burgundy would say, this is kind of a big deal. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> this is a big deal. It's a big deal. And when it is a big deal, and here's the other thing. You know how um, uh, home and real estate values change? I mean, you, you can throw you know, a, a different coat of paint on your house. You can change the landscape. And you can do a lot of things you know, to the foundation or the interior to increase the value of your home. This is perfect. So when you buy a coin, it's not like you can do anything to like, oh, improve the grade or whatever. And with all respect to Bo Derek, I mean, she was a 10. That's a subjective, uh, you know, uh, designation, if you will. No, it's not. She was a 10. Yeah, she was 10. Okay, see, you know, it is, it is Mike Mizak verified that Bo Derek was <laughs> and is a 10. Um, so, okay, no Deke is a second. He's like a 10, maybe even 11. I think I saw, an, you know, a, a secondary, you know, uh, digit go up there. But I guess my whole point is is this, if you're getting perfect, and that's on that 70 point grading scale, you are getting perfect. You are getting perfect, you are getting limited edition, you're getting sold out. Remember, you know, going back to that movie analogy, and that's a, a, I, I love how you parlayed onto that, Mike, is, you know, we're not even talking about, um, you know, the availability to see it on a different day, or, you know, maybe go to a different theater, or drive to a different, you know, um, city to see it. We're talking about it's sold out. It's sold out. It's sold out. <laughs> And sold I, out is sold out. Sold out is sold out. <laughs> and I will tell you this, in this your first primetime airing, easily by the time that clock expires, we'll probably be through at least a third of the inventory. And uh, I just, I go back to my point that, remember, a lot of people, I would say more people than not, shop after the fact with these shows. So I always look at it this way. With FlexPay, you, at least it gives you the benefit of knowing you get and you reserve and you will receive the limited availability that we have. And then moving forward, if you decide for whatever reason, you 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 know, it's not your cup of tea or whatever, you, you decide that you do want to send it back, there is a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Nobody's going to harangue or harass you. We even print the return labels here at HSN. You could also send it across the miles. So if you are starting to think for grads and for dads, I mean, definitely, I, this is a really good one to consider because it checks all of the boxes or many of the major boxes. Um, and, and Mike, maybe you could just kind of broad stroke summarize those for us. It's the uh, method of manufacturing, it's the quality, it's the availability. When we say it checks every single box, this one really kind of does, doesn't it? 
It really does. And remember, proof is not a method of manufacture or a, a condition, but a method of manufacturing. So it's not just a really good regular Silver Eagle. This is the collector version as determined by the United States. Man, it struck multiple times under higher pressures to do that. It's certified perfect within that. It's first day of issue. Exclusivity of presentation, exclusivity of provenance, exclu exclusivity of grade, all of those things in a sold out limited edition from the United States. Man, it is pure collectability. I mean, it absolutely is. So I just really want to encourage you. I know um, I get caught up in the information. I listen and learn along with you. That's why I always kind of joke. I like to get Mike out here right away because uh, he is the king of coins. And this is a really great opportunity, but you just don't let it pass you by. I know a lot of us make lists, especially with our coin collector. This is one you should strike now with the iron's hot, you know, just to make sure that you get it and reserve it while it is still in inventory. 808175. Of course, um, when I said more people than not shop with Mike, when even when he's not here, because it's rare that we have him in prime time. And so this is a lot of fun for me to not only have Mike in prime time, but on a weekend. So it's a rare chance for you to discover what we do in the world of coin collecting. And if there is something specific that you're looking for, if you're already an avid collector, or if you want to rewind and watch some of the presentations online, hsn.com is a great way to do that because that coin vault is always open for business. All right, we are scooting along and um, remember, Remember, it is two hours of our primetime coin collector tonight on a rare weekend appearance with, of course, the king of coins. I have known Mike Nizak for several decades and have worked with him both at this network and elsewhere in the galaxy. If I can make another <laughs> celestial analogy. But when I look at the price of this, Mike, and, and certainly we've already uh, covered a little ground in terms of the, the um, historic relevance of, of the Silver Eagles and the collectability. But what's going on with this one? And hey, a big sale price, which you rarely, rarely get. Well, yeah, no, there's nobody else on the planet that's putting uh, American silver eagles, particularly proof silver eagles, on sale. I mean, we had a, I, I, we don't have that many. I think the quantity on this is uh, maybe a couple hundred coins. Yeah, it is best. actually. I think we're going to be dipping below 300 of it. Okay, well, we are yeah, already below 300. Okay, all we have in this. These are from 2020. It's the only reason. If I were to go into the market buy these today, I'd be 249 or 279. I had 283. We found a couple boxes of them in the warehouse, and I said, let's do something we haven't done in a long time. People, you know, let's take a look back. Let's look at the old design American Silver Eagle. That's that heraldic eagle, the way it looked for 35 years. This is the very last S-minted proof Silver Eagle in the heraldic design. Now, they did the design change in 2021, and they made a West Point minted proof uh, Silver Eagle in the, in the old design, but they did not make a San Francisco in 2021. The 2021 San Francisco was the new design, which, of course, is 100% sold out. So if you want the San Francisco Mint, which they don't make every year, but have been pretty good about it for the last 10 years or so, uh, if you want that, and if you want the last heraldic design, the last Type 1 design, we call it, then that's what this coin is. And, of course, since it's made at the San Francisco Mint, we have it in our exclusive San Francisco label there. And, like I said, we ended up having about 300 of these left. We sold, I guess, it looks like about a dozen and a half or so before we even started the show to your point that people go to hsn.com. And I said, you know, why don't we do this? Because, you know, I know they've been in the warehouse for a couple of years and, and we basically through us just overlooking them in all honesty. Let's just put them at a price. I mean, in all honesty, at these types of prices, I mean, it's virtually wholesale uh, land like that. I mean, the lowest price I can do a current year of issue is going to be 249 I think, 229 249 in the e most simplest label that we can possibly do. So this is $50, $60, $70 a less than I can sell a current American Silver Eagle for. It's the last S mint ever made by the United States mint in proof Silver Eagles in the old design, in the heraldic design, the Type 1 design. So once again, of course, it was sold out two years ago. Uh, this was an instantaneous sellout two years ago that you have. And it's interesting, you can kind of see the differences in the Type 1 and the Type 2. Well, they left the design change on the, uh, 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 on the Type 1 and Type 2. Like I so said, we're not going to change the, the obverse design of it. They did sharpen that design up a little bit, particularly the lettering, particularly the day. Some of the things, the folds in Lady Liberty's uh, a gown and so on and so forth uh, were sharpened up. So this is that old design, the heraldic eagle, the Type 1, the last of the S-mints that you're going to have here. And like I said, you know, we we didn't we didn't have to put it on sale, but $179.95 makes this really an absolute buy. It's by far and away, by far and away, not even close 
the uh, uh, the least expensive proof American uh, Silver Eagle that I can sell here at HSN. It's well, it just absolutely that is. And you know, and, and that's why I keep. By the way, that sale price does not mean it is. It is still inclusive of our 30-day return policy. So um, it's not like an all sales final. And one other thing about that is we have a lot of coin dealers, to be perfectly forthright with you, who shop during our coin collecting shows because we do not limit quantities. And here's a good, good clear example of one that, you know, maybe one's for you, maybe one's that you put away, maybe it's one, you know, for the graduate, for the dad. I mean, if you are maybe considering like a legacy, you know, a couple of pieces for yourself, this might be a really good opportunity for you because as Mike already indicated, this is not a, this is not happening in the real world, meaning nobody's putting a, a deep discount or a sale price on, on Silver Eagles. It's just not happening. So the right. fact that we have about 200, um, maybe you know slightly more than that, we have almost as many people calling as we do have quantities remain. I could pretty much bet we will not be able to spend the full amount of time that we have allocated on this. At least reserve yours and at least get it at home. And remember, those are interest-free payments at $59.98. So seven four one two eight eight. And you know, Mike, especially when we see a deep discount on something that does not need to go on sale, it's um, again, kind of a crazy analogy that I've got, but my niece is having her first communion tomorrow and she will be wearing a silver necklace that I actually gave her when she was born, you know, for her baptism. And th if that kind of puts the historic um, exchange of this, if that resonates with you, remember this this is a forever commodity. This is a forever gift. And, and certainly gifts and purchases come and go, but that silver necklace that she's gonna be wearing, you know, for her first communion tomorrow, it just, you know, it's it's still like a, a shiny new toy. It still has that that brilliant resonance. And of course, that, that emotional bonding. But, you know, people do get emotionally bonded to their coins. We always talk about how it's really an education in American history or, or, or history in general. And this is kind of that forever opportunity for somebody despite the fact that it's on sale, isn't it? Yeah, hundred percent. I mean, they call it precious metals for a reason. I mean, you know, <laughs> and that's what we look at when we look at silver and gold. And like I said, when it says one ounce fine silver, that means pure silver. So the United States silver eagle is nine 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 five fine, which is uh, uh, also very important. Like I said, in terms of pricing, obviously we have great value here in terms of the uh, the, the lowest price silver eagle that we have available in the in everything. In, in all of HSN.com, this is the lowest price silver eagle. Now understand, usually if you get a, a, a sale price on a coin, it's based on the fact that the grade might be a little lower than what people are used to. Okay, that's not at all the case here. Please understand that. This coin is still certified perfect, okay? Still certified perfect. It just happens to be the very last S mint in the old design, the heraldic design ever made by the United States Mint. It also happens to be something that we found sitting in the warehouse after a year and a half. And it's like, you know, they come in boxes of, of 50. And so all of a sudden we see, what are these six unlabeled boxes? Well, as it turns out, they're 2020 S mint American Silver Eagles. Uh, uh, like now, so the 2022 S Mint Silver Eagle that they're about to put out, which of course they'll make far more of than they made of this, that's already sold out from the United States Mint. Remember that. Remember, every proof Silver Eagle, every burnished Silver Eagle for the entire year is already sold out from the United States Mint. Now let's go back two years in time. Let's go back two years in time and see the very last heraldic eagle, a proof silver eagle made at the San Francisco Mint. And then, almost foolishly, we've put it on sale. I suspect we would have absolutely no issues or no difficulty of selling them out at $209.95. But heck, uh, $179.95, I mean, 300 of them going uh, going to go out the door. I suspect we're, uh, we're if we're not under 200, we're close to it. And with everybody, and I know it's it can be a little busy on the phones, when, particularly when we're doing Silver Eagles, please be patient. Or of course, go to uh, hsn.com for immediate access to our entire uh, curated collection of coins. Well, and remember, this is one of those, um, well, time is of the essence. It's just one of those opportunistic moments where we're not limiting quantities, strike while the iron is hot, because this is a going, going, gone opportunity. You know, in fact, I might even go so far as to say it's almost like we've been doing these weekly deal drops. Um, I have a weekly deal drop with the final quantities on a Samsung Galaxy laptop coming up. But this this is the kind of thing that might even fall underneath that bailiwick, but Mike is only able to secure in most cases, unless he has a today's special, which I think, Mike, do you do one or two today's specials a year? 
One a year. One uh, a year. Uh, last year we did two because okay. it was such a special year. But our traditionally for for decades we've done one. January, New Year's Eve. Okay, so uh, so Mike, just again, became, you know, based on the law of supply and demand, and you know what happens in in the world and in the industry and in the category really doesn't, you know, uh, have the opportunity to do today's specials. So you might even want to look at this as, you know, I can't say necessarily um, categorically of this day only, but it's kind of close to that because it is only as long as supplies last. And with the final 200 that we have available, it is certainly well within um, your favor to reserve what we have left. So for $59.98, grab it and get it on your credit card, PayPal, any major debit card, Apple Pay. And then, you know, once more, it, once you get it at home and hold that it in your hand if you decide for whatever reason you do want to return it even though it's on sale it is not an all sales final opportunity it is i mean so you still get that 30-day return policy so as mike said we are very very busy call that number at the bottom of your screen. You might even want to load that app on your phone. That's how I do my shopping here at HSN or go to hsn.com. You can even shop with by remote, but do not wait until we you see that little sold out banner on this. Cause remember Mike has about another hour and 20 minutes with me. And I would just about bet because a lot of you, I know listen to Mike and watch the presentation. I am pretty confident when I say, by the, either by the end of this hour or by the end of our two hours together, this in all likelihood will be gone. So don't let it pass you by. 741-288. And, you know, Mike, again, like you said, we did not, or HSN didn't have to put this on sale. It's just like another added benefit or opportunity for people to jump into coin collecting tonight, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely, 100%. It's a way, if you haven't collected before, start kind of old school with the last of the old heraldic design, like to put into uh, production by President Ronald Reagan. And uh, then you can move forward from there, but the Silver Eagle is always, I think, the best place to start. Most popularly collected like silver point in the world. Uh, absolutely. So again, do not hang up. We have yours for you as long as you are selecting it now. All right, we are moving along to when we talk about um, how coin collecting is really a snapshot of history. And I was just mentioning my niece and, you know, hopefully I'm a, a woman that she can use as a shining example, although she's a lot like me. So good luck to my, my brother and my sister-in-law, Angie. They might have their hands full there she takes after auntie shannon but if you are looking to really inspire a, a young woman in your life or just even yourself um mike i have to say when we first started unveiling um these these women in history and this well i don't say historic as a, a descriptor it's just it's actually the case i mean this is this is history in the making so i i will toss things over to you is now is this the whole set or can you describe the opportunity that people have here in case they haven't seen some of the individual coins that we've presented? And that's the problem. People don't see the individual coins because they're very, very rare, just the regular issue coins. The United States government launched this year the Women Making History uh, uh, set that you have right there, uh, American Women Quarter set. Uh, that is a four-year program, five coins per year, 20 coins total, uh, honoring uh, w American women that have made history American history. And so this is the first year of issue. So, and this is the entire and complete set. Now, here's what happened. They released the, uh, uh, the very first coin was uh, uh, Maya Angelou. Completely and totally all the uncirculated coins, P, D, S, everything sold out. Then they released a clad quarter set that was proof, okay? Just a regular proof quarter set. It sold out instantly. Then they came with the silver quarter set, made in pure silver. It sold out instantly. That's what this is. Of all of the quarters that are going to be done in the Women Making History set, the solid silver version is the rarest by far. It's not even close. It sold out so quickly, we were unable to get anywhere near our normal allocation. So our entire addition for the solid silver Women proof first year of issue, women silver proof quarter set is 90. Normally in silver uh, uh, silver quarters, we do hundreds, if not thousands, because they're so popular because they're pure silver. But this right here, a limited edition of 90. That's the first uh, principal chief, uh, you can see, of the Cherokee Nation right there uh, uh, with that. Then we have Nina Otero Warren, who was the uh, very first female superintendent of the San Santa Fe School District. That you're going to have out there. Uh, Anna Mae Wong, uh, the first... Uh, uh, the first uh, uh, 
uh, Asian American film star, female film star in the United States, very, very popular. And then, of course, the first one was uh, uh, Maya Angelou. And then, of course, the second one, which has already been released, although you've probably not seen any of them, is Dr. Sally Ride. It's Dr. Sally Ride making history uh, in space there as well. We'll keep our celestial uh, uh, theme going here. And so there's Dr. Sally Ride as well. The five coin set is $399.95. Here is the problem, Shannon. 90 match numbered sets, first day of issue, is all that there ever will be. They are 100% exclusive to us here at HSN. This is the one and only primetime presentation we will ever have of this set. You are looking at it right now. You're you're watching this history take place from a numismatic standpoint. The history has already been written that these women uh, embody that you're going to see right there. And so, like I said, my Angelou, uh, on the very first one, Dr. Sally Ride is the second point in the set. Like I said, only 90 sets all available exclusively here for us today. Well, and I have to, um, just in terms of giving you a quantity update, there are four dozen that we have available right now. So four dozen only, and once more, available on that flex pay. There are also, if you have an HSN card, we do have VIP financing on this one. And I think, Kevin, you said that's about $38, give or take. Oh, $33 and change. If you do have an HSN or a Zulily or a Q card, of course, you're always welcome to apply and buy. If that helps you out in terms of making that purchase tonight, definitely grab yours. We're going to continue kind of this um, celebrating women in history, historic uh, celebration, if you will, in just a moment. And then, speaking of celebrating women, happy early Mother's Day to everybody out there. Well, mom would like to pamper herself, but how about we take you to Greece? We are going to be sharing some time with our guest of honor from Cores, live from Greece, starting at midnight with my friend Valerie. And um, while I can't reveal everything that's in this, I was telling my producer, Kevin, I'm on auto ship for two for two of the items that are in your today's special coming up at midnight. And actually, what I, in fact, I don't know if that today's special is available on auto ship or not, but what I might do is switch to the auto ship if it's available. I don't even know what that it is, but anyway, that's a brand new today's special coming up at midnight. Um, all right, we're continuing with the king of coins and we got some more education and coin collecting for you, but here's a little peek at some of the benefits of HSM. Get the best deals on the things you love with the HSN card. As an HSN card VIP, you'll get all kinds of perks, like 12-month VIP financing on select items, plus extra flex on beauty, jewelry, shoe, and fashion purchases all day every day. And at least eight VIP savings events a year. Includes fraud protection, and there's no annual fee. Apply now and instantly get $10 off when you're approved. Call 1-800-695-1418 or visit hsn.com slash hsncard. We love our gemstones to be beautiful, colorful, and durable. That's why we give some of them a little more love. Enhancements may require special care and may not be permanent, while others may last a lifetime. For more information, visit hsn.com and search Gemstone Care to see our gemstone enhancement chart. in cookies for everybody. <laughs> I did. Hi, I'm Shannon. Uh, well, I don't have any cookies for you, but I do have coins. Mike, you know I love to be in the kitchen. I would be baking you cookies. We got carrot cake cookies. We've got M&M cookies. I like I mean, the carrot cake cookie idea oh, there. I know, right? But uh, we are also celebrating women and celebrating coins. This is a rare prime time, actually a rare weekend prime time appearance from our king of coins, Mike Mizak. I love Mike. I've, I've known him for several decades. And in the world of coin collecting, nobody does it better. He is really iconic. He, he And that really is true. I mean, I would say that and promote him even if it weren't true, but it, it is. I mean, Mike is just really, um, has really, I think, been groundbreaking in terms of 
of giving us education and opportunities. And certainly here at H HSN, we, we partner and help him do that with things like FlexPay, which is certainly unheard of in the world of coin collecting. So Mike, if people were not with us before we took that, that little time out, let's, let's start again by reintroducing this kind of concept, um, the American Women in Series in particular, and what we're looking at on our screen. Yeah, uh, the United States government launched this program this year. It's it's just four years in length. Five women per year. 20, 20 women have been uh, uh, chosen. Uh, well, only ten have been chosen to be honored. Right at this point, but there'll be twenty women in this. American women who made American history. Okay, uh, uh, who made American history, and it was released this year to. <laughs> You know, it kind of almost flew under the radar. I never really understood that, but 100% did. But once it once it got released, it is it sold out. Everything sold out. The uncirculated coins are sold out. The uncirculated roll sets are sold out. Uh, the five coin uh, proof sets are sold out. The five coin silver proof sets are sold out. And this is the five coin regular, what we call clad proof set. So it's proof. Remember, proof is not a condition, but a method of manufacturing. And this set sold out instantly. Okay, the five coin quarter set by itself. So here's what we did, and I got to be honest with you, it's a bit of a risk on our part. Um, and that's one of the reasons the addition is so small. So our first day of issue on the Women's Quarters program, our entire addition for the proof set, this is the regular issue proof set, is 286. That is for, 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 a, for a, a program or for a series of this magnitude, that is a phenomenally, phenomenally small number. And the reason it's small is one, we couldn't get coins, and two, it's an auto ship. So we are literally, what you're literally buying right now is all 20 coins guaranteed. Your price can never go up, your delivery's guaranteed for the life of the program, $234.95. So this is for all five coins for this year. There's only three additional shipments. There's gonna be the 2023, 2024, and 2025, that's it. That's the entire collection. Okay, that's the entire collection, $234.95 for all five coins. So we have here Maya Angelou, Dr. Sally Ride, we have Wilma Mankiller, we have uh, uh, Nino Terra Warren, we've got Anna Mae Wong that's in there. In next year, the highlights of next year, Bessie Coleman, many of you may have heard of her, the first uh, uh, female African-American pilot in the United States, Eleanor Roosevelt, of course, uh, uh, we all know that. And then my personal favorite, Maria Tallchief, who was the first uh, uh, principal or prima ballerina, prima ballerina in the United States uh, uh, from the 40s and 50s. Uh, just absolutely groundbreaking. She uh, danced around the world. Uh, a really broad ballet and American uh, uh, ballet to the forefront. In, in essence, the world first prima ballerina. So that's next year. Okay, and then after that, they haven't chosen the next the next ten women. They'll decide that uh, probably at the beginning of next year. They'll do 2024, and then so on and so forth. But what you're doing now with a single phone call—it's only 286 people, folks. Right now, with a single solitary phone call, you get all 20 in essence, because you're going to get this year's, and you are locked in for 2020. Now look. Let's say you only want this year. That's fine. You may cancel. You're, you're under no obligation. Remember, the obligation is ours. The opportunity is yours. You're locked into this for as long as you choose to. Now, each one of the sets, each one of the years comes in our fabulous Red Oak presentation box. This is, I think, $49.95, I believe, is our is our retail on that uh, when we sell those. So that brings you under, I mean, you know, that's under $200. We're under $39.95 a coin for certified proof 70. And they're not just the proof, uh, uh, certified proof coins, but they're certified proof 70. They're also first day of issue, 100% exclusive to us. Only $234.95 comes in the Red Oak presentation box. Each year will come in its own Red Oak presentation box as well. I suspect we are about, we're pretty close to only 200 of these left. And once they're sold out, they're not just sold out for this year. The entire four-year program is then sold out because it's an auto ship. It, it is. Hey, by the way, only 140 to go around there. We've got another oh. Women in History series coming up. And then, um, Kevin, how many of our San Francisco Mint um, Silver Eagle are left at sale price? Okay, so uh, we might even give you a reminder there because I know there are only 200 of those available. Remember, I know a lot of you take and watch and listen and learn and shop after the fact, but we'll try to give you some reminders as we go through these limited quantity and availability, which, by the way, that really is... <laughs> 
this entire show. That's what Coin Collector is. I mean, it's all pretty much limited availability. All right, um, as we continue to talk about women making history, this is a really fun one for me, at least. And actually, Chris, is there any reflection on this, or is that looking pretty good? Okay, let me try to see here. I should leave this to the experts, right? Maybe if I do it this way. Okay. Um, Kelsey's got, what, seven minutes left before I can make her life a living experience in other areas of the company, and I'll leave it at that. Uh, Mike, you know, if, if anybody um, uh, promotes shenanigans, it would be, I guess my mom named me appropriately, but uh, I, no oh, I was under the impression that was your middle name. See, exactly. Well, there's no shenanigans or tomfoolery going on here. <laughs> that the, Your eyes are not deceiving you. For $79.95, we were talking about the women making history. I love this as as I was saying earlier about my niece, like a legacy series and a really wonderful introduction, maybe to coin collecting, but certainly a way to celebrate this historic series. Now, this is also an auto ship, Mike? Yeah, and remember, this is because this is going to be, this is just my Angela. Now, oh, this right. is the complete set of coins. P, D, S uncirculated, S proof, S silver proof. And you can really see the difference between the proof and the silver proof there. It just pops in silver. I want to talk about the top three coins to begin with, the, the P, the D, and the S uncirculated. Now, the P and the D uncirculated, they made a few of those and they released them into circulation. You may eventually see them in your change. Okay, this is the first coin in the 20 coin set. The Denver Mint, Philadelphia Mint, like I said, a few of those were released. These are nice, gem brilliant, uncirculated. It's that last coin, that S Mint uncirculated. The United States Mint, when they made this in their infinite wisdom, decided to only release the S Mint uncirculated in the three roll set. They then decided to only make 7,500 rolls. What that has created is that S mint uncirculated, the very last coin all the way on the end there on the top row, is the single rarest uncirculated quarter made by the United States government in a hundred years. Oh, wow. In a hundred years, that coin. The only coin that comes close to it is the 1927 S Standing Liberty quarter, which in that condition is worth about $100,000. So, and by the way, this coin's rarer. So at 7,500 rolls, there's only about 300,000 of those uncirculated quarters in existence ever. That makes this the rarest quarter set that the United States government has put out in literally 100 years. Now add into that the clad quarter proof down there, which of course is spectacular. And then the silver, understand the silver quarter by itself sells for as much as $50. Oh, wow. All right. I mean, the cost from the government before it sold out was almost 20 bucks, okay? Because it's pure silver, and now with the doubling, you know, they're sold out. If you look at that, that is the new obverse of the Washington Quarter. They had not changed that since 1932, by oh, the wow. by. That design was done by Laura Garden Frazier. It, interestingly enough, was the original design they picked in 1932. Huh. But for some inexplicable reason, they went with the famous John Flanagan design that we're used to, you know, the Washington curly-haired one uh, that was on the quarters from 1932 to 2021. This will be the new obverse design going forward as well. Now, given the fact that this is the rarest quarter set in a century put out by the United States Mint, same thing with the auto ship because they sell out so fast. Like I said, all of the quarters, all five women's quarter sets, these sets are sold out for the year. The three roll sets are already spoken for. They've released two coins. The, all, the, the next three are already sold out through enrollments. They are already selling for triple, quadruple, quintuple the original issue price. The proof five coin set sold out. The silver proof five, five coin set is sold out. They're all sold out. Your price is locked in. It can never go up for the life of the program. Stay as long as you like. So you get the Maya Angelou. The next one is going to be Sally Ride. It's going to be the same thing. PDS already sold out as, as proof, as silver proof. We are only, we are only going to do 1,000. We are only going to do 1,000 of these sets. Uh, for auto ship, that's all that we're able to do because we're just not willing to take the risk. I mean, that quarter could get to $100, $150. Remember the 1999 state quarters? Oh, true. 
I mean, a Delaware quarter went to about $150 in silver, $160 in silver. It was crazy. Lock this in. Your price can never go up. Your delivery is guaranteed. You can uh, cancel uh, or skip shipments as you see fit. Also, the new obverse design for the quarter. Get in on history right now. For sure. I mean, and again, to Mike's point, I mean, the onus is really on him to make, you know, to fulfill those limited reservations that were taken. So it's not even an unlimited um, auto ship program. I mean, once you're enrolled, like I said, the onus is on him to, to, to come up with the inventory. All right, now I just want to remind everybody about this because this, no one in the industry, first of all, needs to do a sale or price adjustment on Silver Eagles, um, just speaking historically, but we have this, and I will say for the last and final 200 of you who are able to make that phone call, so we're taking 200 reservations only, we are honoring that sale price tonight, certainly only as long as supplies last, and on that three flex pay of $59.98, 741-288. Just wanted to give you a quick reminder about that um, before we turn the page to another hour of our coin collector here at HSN with the king of coins, Mr. Mike Mizak. I've known Mike for several decades. I've been working with him both here and um, historically at other networks as well. But what he does for you here at HSN is give you an opportunity on the ground floor to either start your collection or enrich your collection and get it, whether it's via flex pay, those are interest-free payments or a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee, or just have an education with which to do your coin collecting.